So I've been driving on 84, heading over to the coast here in Oregon. And I wanted to stop and see this waterfall on the way. And when I, I was sitting here in the parking lot and I was thinking to myself, ah, I wonder how far it is to hike up to the mountain. And then I realized it's like, <laughs> it's right there. So I guess we're just gonna walk over and look at that and then we can keep on going. There's the uh, Columbia River down there and Highway 84 just runs along it, so especially back up that way, there's some real pretty areas where mountains are just kind of sort of like that, but more dramatic or just hanging over, over the river. It's real pretty. Would you look at that? Wasn't even planning to, and I got to climb to the top of the waterfall. Not bad, not bad for a quick little one-off, one-mile hike. <laughs> There's also a place I want to check out called Cape Disappointment. I may have mentioned this in a previous video, I don't know. I think it's about where Lewis and Clark kind of came out on the Pacific Ocean. It's a really pretty place. It's not disappointing. I think it has something to do with like a boat sank or something, I don't know. But it's a very pretty lighthouse out on a cape and stuff, so. Looking forward to checking that out. Well, just hanging out at this rest stop here. You can stay the night at this particular stop, so I guess I could just stay here this evening, but I'm gonna keep on driving and find a Walmart that you're probably not supposed to stay the night at, closer to Astoria, and then I'll <laughs> stay there. I wanna get some internet anyways. There's no signal out here and stuff, so if I can get close. The nice thing in these Walmart parking lots is if you can get close enough, you can connect to their Wi-Fi. And that's how I've been uploading everything. It's good Wi-Fi too. Walmart has like 5G Wi-Fi all over the country, which is sweet. But anyways, I'm gonna boil some water here and make some dinner, or the first half of dinner. I'll probably buy some more food at the Walmart I'm heading to. Make some tea and stuff. I got a pretty good charge on my Jackery, so I may charge a few things and edit a little bit. Um, and then while I'm driving the rest of the way, I can kind of get it back up to 100%. So. You gotta strike when the iron's hot when it comes to using power in a minivan. <laughs> So I'm kind of here in Astoria with, uh, with no plan, <laughs> which seems to be the usual for places I go to. But I, I read online that you should check out the Riverwalk area. Um, and so far it's been pretty cool. Got to see a big cargo boat bring some stuff in. There's a real big bridge that goes into Washington area. But anyways, I'm gonna walk out. There's some, um, well it's a hotel really, but we'll walk out there and kind of see what there is to see. I'll check this little boat out. It's a pretty cute little boat right there. These little river towns, they always seem like more industrial and kind of gruffer kind of feeling than actual coastal towns. You see this too back home in South Carolina, you know, you have like a Charleston, which is like, well Charleston's already kind of like overly bougie, but then compared to like Savannah, Georgia, right next to it, which is more of like an inland river type fishing town and stuff, you just kind of get this juxtaposition between the two of them. And you're definitely seeing it here too, compared to some of the other like coastal cities and stuff. It's kind of cool seeing the river though. It's a big frickin' river. I, I assume it's kind of like opening up more because it's going out into the ocean too, but even driving up 84, coming up here, I mean, it's a big river. 
All right, so you have your avocado, right? This one's a little, a little brownish. It's still fine. It's just you know, right? So you get the pit out. This is a this is a trick that my mom taught me, right? So thanks, mom. <laughs> but you know, you do like your regular slices, and then what you do is you come this way, and you do some more slices. One second, is that the patrol guy who's trying to give me a ticket? Okay, no, it's not. All right, you do your other slices this way, right? So now it's like all cut up into a bunch of little tiny square things or whatever. And then here's, you know, here's the sandwich and you just kind of <laughs> reuse them out. And you're good to go. And you can do, you can do this for like, um, like if you're making guacamole, it's good too, because then you can mash it up really easily. So there you go, cool trick. Oh goodness, I don't know if I can get all this on this sandwich. We're gonna try. Just turn it into just an avocado sandwich, good heavens. So there's apparently two lighthouses here at Cape Disappointment. The first one is the North Lighthouse, and I, I believe it was it was there first. People kept crashing though, um, up a little further on the Cape, where the second lighthouse was built, um, and that's why I got the name Cape Disappointment. I, I think specifically there was one. I mean, there had been multiple crashes and stuff, but specifically one was like a big deal because they were bringing supplies to this lighthouse, I believe. And then because they crashed, it really screwed things up because they needed the food to keep, you know, and other supplies to keep running the lighthouse. And so they put another lighthouse over there, and now there's two out on this cape, and that's how it got the name Cape Disappointment. <laughs> it's cute. It's not too big. It's cute. I noticed a lot of the lighthouses out here are like this. Seems like on the east coast they're, they're a lot taller. I guess they're kind of already up on cliffs here, so it doesn't really make a difference. Whoa. Okay, it's really cold. I gotta get another layer on. This is crazy. There it is. Starting to get a little bit of uh, blue in the clouds too. Might get some good photos. Oh my gosh, and look at, look at all that bird crap. That's so gross. It's getting kind of late, so I guess it might be about time to go find, well, it's only like 4, it's like 3.48 or something, so. I need to find a place to stay the night, but we'll cross that when we get there. I made it to the next Walmart. I had to double back a little bit, which makes me concerned. <laughs> I wonder if maybe I didn't plan the best route here, but whatever. I should be pretty close to Mount St. Helens. I think I saw it actually when I was driving in, but I'm not sure. There, there was a couple mountain peaks I saw just kind of... It's weird out here in the Cascades. They just have mountains that just like shoot straight up but just in the middle of nowhere. I say mountains, they're all volcanoes is what they really are. This whole thing, the whole place is a volcano. The entire northwest of America is just a gigantic volcano. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm going to go into this Walmart and see if I can't find some something to eat. And I'm going to head on to bed. So thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you all at, uh, at Mount St. Helens next. It's kind of cool how the, the waves are rolling over the rocks down there. Yeah. <laughs>